Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get infinite glitch gifts in Pet Simulator 99. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get infinite glitch gifts in Pet Simulator 99. Well, I mean not infinite, but just a lot. Because obviously you're not gonna be getting infinite because otherwise a ton of people would have millions of points already. But yeah, I haven't really played the game much. I only played it for like an hour or two during the update. But I do have 20 points in my clan. And there are a few strategies. Like the first one, you just get a ton of tech keys. I don't think I have any right now because I opened them earlier. Yeah, I don't. But yeah, you just get a ton of tech keys. And if you go in here, you can see that you get uh, the glitch cores. And if you didn't know, you need the glitch cores to make the glitch gifts. Like, I don't have any because I made my gifts earlier, but you need 500 points. So yeah, that's probably the best way to get your, your cores. And I did this earlier, and then I farmed for a little bit. And I have two glitch gifts, so we're gonna open them quickly. Let's just go for one. Come on, something good, something good. Okay, that wasn't very good. Let's go for another one. Imagine I get the huge right here. Okay, never mind. I didn't get the huge. Well, anything good in general. But yeah, that is the first strategy. You just try getting a ton of tech keys and then you just open the chest a ton. So I'm gonna go into the pro server in the training plaza and we're gonna try getting some tech keys. This is actually a strategy that all of the pros are doing to get, well, thousands of gifts. So let me go over here and then we'll just search for the tech key. I spelled it wrong. We can go for... Let's go for the upper half. Okay, I can't find any. Okay, I found one. Let's hope that I can get it. Okay, I'm loading in. We just have to hope that nobody steals it from me. Because if someone does, then that's not gonna be good. Oh, someone, yeah, someone took them. Oh, it was only one key anyways. Okay, I'm going to another server. Let's hope that nobody takes it. Watch it be really overpriced. Yeah, they're overpriced. You know what? I'll just buy a couple for the video. We'll get 50. Actually, that's kind of expensive. I just got 25. Because this isn't a key opening video. And that was a bad deal, so I shouldn't have done that. But it's fine, because we're doing this for the video. So yeah, anyways, you want to get a few keys, and then you go over here. You just align this, and you just start opening your keys. Sometimes the items do bug, they just go the wrong way. So you do occasionally have to go over here before they get stuck. I'd say like every two or three keys. So we'll go after this one. Anyways, let me just open all of these and I'll uh, show you guys everything that I get. Okay, I just opened up a few keys, we're gonna do one more. And I have a ton of items piled here. So let's just get them all. I don't think I got any cores though. Did I? Let's check. No, I did not. Okay, I'll just open the rest. Okay, I ran out of keys. So let's just collect everything. Let's see if I got anything good. Okay, you can see that I got a core here. I got some... Well, some good items. So let's search core. Okay, out of 25 keys, I only got one core, which isn't too good. But that does bring me up up to 100 points. Yeah, this is a pretty good strategy. So you need to get a ton of keys, which is kind of expensive, but it'll be worth it if you want to participate in the clan battle and try getting a ton of points. Another strategy, if you don't want to spend a ton of diamonds, you just go to the final area. It could be a private server, a public server, whichever. So we just go all the way to the final area. There are a ton of people here, so I'm not going to actually farm. Because if I do, I'm not going to get that many items. But yeah, basically you just want to go into the final area with your best item loadout, which this is mine. It has boss chest mimic, lucky block, master comet, super magnet, criticals 8, coins 8, treasure hunter 9, and another criticals, and another treasure hunter. But since I'm at max coins, I can replace my coins with a treasure hunter. Now if you don't have these enchants, I do have another video which will probably be in the end screen or something. Well, I have another video on my channel where I show the best item farming method. And basically, that's what you want to do. You just want to get the best item farming in chance or just loadout in general. And you just start farming items and then you'll get a ton of items. Well, mainly just um, the cores. And there's also the global events, which you can just grind this. And as you can see, it gives you a free mythical core. And some other stuff. The quests are a bit time consuming, but you could do it, it'll help a ton. And yeah, when I farmed for like an hour or two, I did manage to get 
four legendary cores, a ton of epic cores, some green ones, and like over a hundred gray ones. So yeah, it is very OP. I got like two gifts in a couple of hours, like two hours I think. And if you want to do both of them combined, it would be very OP because you could probably get... I don't know, depending on how much you play and how many diamonds you have, like how many keys you can buy, you could definitely compete on the leaderboard with some of the top players in the entire game. Okay, so I somehow forgot to mention this in the video. I'm currently farming items, and I remembered this. But basically, there is the there's the item loadout, so we're gonna go over there real quick. I'm not actually gonna play it, but oh, I'm getting so many items. Anyways, yeah, I'm not actually gonna be playing it, but I forgot to tell you guys about it. So let me just go over there. Okay, here we are, the treasure hideout. I forgot the name. So yeah, if you have a treasure key, you can just go in here. They're pretty cheap. And then you do get a ton of items, so it's probably gonna get you a ton of cores. So you can probably get way more. And then yeah, it'll help you create a ton more gifts. So yeah, make sure to use the treasure hideout whenever you can, because there is a 6 hour cooldown. But yeah, I just wanted to mention that. Now there might be another strategy that I don't know about that might be really good. So if you guys do know a better strategy than this one, then make sure to let me know in the comments. Because this might not actually even be the best strategy. Also, I don't know if you can get cores from this, but you might want to open your gift bags and yeah, just everything. Now of course the hype bags and the limited items, they don't give anything. They don't give the cores. Let's see if the arcade egg gives them. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Hold on, we'll wait for the next page. Okay, yeah, it does not give cores. So I'd assume that gift bags do not give cores either. But yeah, this is a strategy that all of the pro players are using, so just make sure to get a ton of keys and farm in the best area. And here is my personal loadout. It's very OP. I could use, like, a normal chest mimic because that's a lot better than any of these. But yeah, I still think it's pretty good. So I'm going to be farming some cores for a while, and then I'll probably make a follow-up video just getting a ton of gifts and opening them. And I'm also trying to get a ton of points for my clan. Speaking about my clan, if you guys would like to join my clan, then just comment down below your username and I'll probably invite you. The only requirements are you do have to be active in the clan and participate in the clan battles. Because I would like to get on the clan leaderboard someday. But yeah, I'm just going to be trying to get as many members as I can in here. So make sure to comment down below your username. But yeah, anyways, that's about it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe and... Again, let me know if there is a better strategy out there. And yeah, I'm gonna start farming for my items, and I'll make another video about this soon. Anyways, I'll see you on the next video, so yeah, bye.